Breaking news at 10, five people taken into custody accused of shooting at officers and leading them on a chase. Thanks for joining us, I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. The chase went through several neighborhoods, but came to an end in Colerain Township. And that's where we find Chancellor Wren. Chance, what can you tell us about this? Well, I can tell you right now that we are at the scene where that chase came to an end. We're at the intersection of Colerain Avenue and Earl Road. And in fact, there's about maybe a football field beyond us is where that car actually came to a rest here. Now, we were speaking with Cincinnati Police Chief Teresa Thiji, and she tells us this all started around Winton Terrace. And I looked it up. That's about five to six miles from here, a good 15-minute drive. And she said there is where undercover officers in Cincinnati Police District 4 were conducting an investigation. And that's when there was some type of altercation which led to suspects, five of them, inside of a car who fired shots at police officers. Now, the officers are all okay. Nobody was injured on the police front there. But again, this is all according to Police Chief Teresa Thiji. Now, I want you to take a look at some video that we have. I know our photojournalist, Christopher Waldman, actually captured this video with his cell phone showing this, what I'm going to describe as a very slow progression as police cars were following behind the suspect's vehicle. And that was actually in that video crossing over Colerain Avenue. That's right where we are standing right here. And again, it's about a football field from that intersection is where police were able to get that car to come to arrest. And I want you to hear how Police Chief Teresa Thiji was describing this chase. I do know that at one point stop sticks were used, the tires were flattened, um, they still refused to stop. That was at a much slower speed and officers were following them to the dead end of the street. Now, of course, with this police pursuit going through multiple jurisdictions all across western parts of Hamilton County. I will tell you that we saw Colerain police out here, Cincinnati police out here, obviously, as well as a few other officers in this area. And this was something that was going on for at least about an hour and a half, up to two hours or so before police were able to put uh, those suspects into custody. Now, again, Police Chief Teresa Thiji said two or three of those suspects were taken into custody inside of the vehicle. Two more took off towards a baseball field right in this area, but all all five suspects have been arrested and are currently going through processing. But of course, we are still working to learn more details about what the investigation was happening. Again, those District 4 officers who were undercover were trying to learn what were they investigating to end up in that position where those five suspects inside of that vehicle ended up firing gunshots at Cincinnati police officers. But for now, reporting live in Colerain with photojournalist Christopher Waldman, I'm Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Chance, thank you. Yeah. Uh, here's a live look from Winton Terrace where police have Esta Avenue blocked off to send Hill Avenue. The chief tells us this is where District 4, they were conducting their investigation, ultimately led to the police chase. And as you can see, it remains active uh, with crime scenes. It's weird. Up. It's weird that this scene is so active and the scene that Chance was at was much more active earlier in the night and now it's just completely dark. I agree with you. Yeah. Yep. We'll keep our eye on it for you. Absolutely.